Deep breath, Mr. Lin. In and out. One more time. As long as I'm clear. What a small one, Tia. You're gonna be all right, Mr. Lin. He'll be all right once we start the antibiotics. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Lin. Just checking in with Dr. Yang. What's the update here? Slightly elevated white count, 11.2. Chest x-ray? Left lower lobe infiltrate. Okay, good. You've got an easy one here, Yang. Start antibiotics, babysit for a few days. Right. The one thing that's weird is that his lungs sound clear. But the x-ray showed an infiltrate. Right. Okay, so you've got everything under control here. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna send off for a sputum culture. Okay, good, because we're getting slammed, so get ready for another hit. He has pneumonia. We're going to make him better. He had pneumonia before. Sponge, please. Dr. Kellerman? It's Thor calling from the ER. Put him on the speaker. Thor. You got a friend of yours down here. Wants to see you. Who? Name is Ryder, Neil Ryder. Neil Ryder? You don't know him. The guy in my building named Ryder, what's he got? Pain in the neck, mine. Says his back's bothering him. Uh-huh. Guy's a Yoda. Yoda? Yuppie on drugs or alcohol? Can I street him? I'm puking my brains out and we need the bed. Keep him around. Run an x-ray or something. I'll be down in half an hour. You got it. All right. Let's finish up this heart. Bogey? Your neighbor, huh? Yoda-wise, that's a little too close for comfort. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I got the guy wrong. Oh, yeah. My ex-boyfriend is in the psycho. Just can't believe he showed up here, though. It's that kind of day. Will you shut up with that already? I'm just saying. Got me a Yoda once, <sighs> sold me a car. As soon as he found out I was a doctor, he started calling me all the time, asking me to write him scripts. Did you? Hell no. I need more room. Move the arterial line. Line's moved. All right, let's get him off bypass. Yeah. He's another clamp. Hang two units. We lost a lot of blood. I'll hang it through now. You clamp the damn arterial cannula. No, Bruce, I did the drape, see? What the hell? The connector's cracked. Give me a new one. Shut the music off. I can't think. Oh, this it. is not supposed to happen. You call the product rep and tell him I want his ass in my office first thing tomorrow morning with an explanation. What we really need is a karmic rep. People, come on. With notes. Motorcyclist versus a brick wall. Heads first, without a helmet. No vitals in the field. One, two, three. Careful his neck. Take over compressions. Light him up. You all right? You look sick. Weak old Kung Pao chicken. No pneumo. Stop compressions. No pulse. Push AP and atropine. Fixed and dilated. Hold again. Flat nine. Skulls in pieces. Stop again. Nothing. Looks like Elvis has left the building. Time of death. 11.48. What about giving the epi intracardia? Check the pupils. At best, you bring back a... No chance he could be an organ donor? No, nope. uh, a heartbeat. Family? Social services called his wife. She's on her way. Who dreams she gets here? Anyone care to argue against the mandatory helmet law? You paged me? Ah, found the Lynn films. <laughs> Good news. Chest x ray is clear. Doesn't have pneumonia. What do you mean? It's clear. Oh, my God. 
Give him another amp of epi. Okay, got it. He doesn't have pneumonia. Yeah, we got that. And, and an ABG. His chest x-ray is normal. Your respiratory acidosis, normal chest x-ray. Massive pulmonary emboli. My guess is that he suffered several small emboli, which presented like pneumonia. He needs IV heparin. Let's get him up to ICU. Hey, go, go, go! Didn't you tell me earlier that his x-ray showed an infiltrate? That's what the radiologist told me. You never actually saw the films? Not, not, not till five minutes ago. Another stitch, please. We're losing cardiac output. He's fibrillating, Chief. Paddles, charge the time. Paddles. And Jewel. Clear? Clear. No juice, son of a bitch. Give me new ones. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I do not want to squeeze this heart. Well, I hear the Rinpoche's surgery is not going at all well. So much for any good PR we could have gotten out of doing it for free. Frank, we're talking about a man's life here. Well, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. I was merely pointing out that we might not get the positive publicity to help offset the $30,000 hit we're taking. Oh, mm -hmm. Sutra Medical sure dodged a bullet. And then there's a potential lawsuit. This, this freebie could end up costing us millions, millions. What's he got to sue about? He's going to be reincarnated as a dog. He should be thrilled. How the hell a, a pump line could break like that? I just... We should talk to Lama Kempo. Let him know how things are going. Oh, I guess it's true what they say. No good deed goes unpunished. Mrs. Lynn, you should go home at night, get some rest. His garden must be so dry. It has been days since he water. I can leave him alone. He's never going to wake up again, is he? There's still a chance his lungs will recover. I'm, I'm gonna talk to Dr. Joyner. Whatever you think is best, I trust you. Why don't you go get yourself something to eat? I'll let you know what Dr. Joyner says later, okay? Yes, okay. We'll Clear. Still fib. Charge to 20. Charge. Clear. Flat line. Wait. There's a the spike. How cardiac output now? Still down. Heart rhythm shaking. We're gonna lose this guy. <laughs> Is Kellerman coming down soon or not? <laughs> Go away. Come on, man. Can't you give me something to hold me over? I'm in a lot of pain. You take these as needed. Four? <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do with four? That's all you get. Come on. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to puke now. We did everything we could. He wasn't wearing a helmet. She doesn't own one. Jerk. He said he wanted to get a tattoo for me. I asked for a heart. He came back with that thing. He always made a joke out of everything. Even if you had diagnosed him earlier, a few hours of heparin might not have made a difference. Might not. Maggie, you know it has to be done. Let it go. You know, it's not my decision. It's Mrs. Lynn's. That's right. And it's your job to tell her what she needs to know in order to make it. 
Keep your personal feelings out of it. How you doing, Doc? Levi, right? At your service. Thank you. See you around? Sure. We're trying to stabilize his cardiac output. But his heart is very weak. I understand. Do you have any questions? No questions. We'll do everything we can. It isn't your fault. You mustn't blame yourself if he dies. I'm his doctor. Yes. But it may be that it is not his karma to live another day. Maybe. But it's my karma to make sure he doesn't die. How's it going? Cardiac output's still low. And he's bleeding from every suture line. Ventricle's leaking like a sieve. All right. We'll patch it up with pericardium, dry up the bleeders, and get this case over with. As Gary Gilmore said, let's do it. Oh, come on. One more time with feeling, folks. Let's do it. Crank it, K-Pasta. Rock and roll. He's very sick. Yes. It is not easy to watch others suffer. I feel so bad for him. I meant her. I don't understand. You said he will get better. He's too weak. We don't think his lungs will recover. What should I do? Let him go. Vicodin, uh, generic hydrocodone, okay? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, how long will this take? Just a minute. Hi. Can I help you? No, it's okay. But well, lost track of time. Got to get back to work. Do you know Gina Riaz from Housekeeping? Yeah, you just missed her. Okay, thanks. Good job, people. Personally, I always hated that stupid hat. All right, close them off. Back out the way we came in. I got a date with a Yoda. Twins? You look good. 